John 20, 22, and 23, but we must defeat evil with love. Jesus is speaking here. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. So based on my understanding of this scripture, I don't believe every single sin people do, do to you, you have to forgive. Okay. Verse 22, if you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. This may be like when God's word says, if you offend one of these little children, it would be better for you to tie a millstone around your neck and be plunged into the ocean and throw yourself in the ocean. Not every sin do you have to forgive, but we must defeat evil with love. When you are reacting or, or interacting as a born-again T.I. or somebody who's being persecuted with your persecutor, you have got to love on them. The Lord sprung this on me without knowing it. I was not intending to be loving to these folks and kind to them. The Lord did it. So I would recommend that if you are struggling, love, loving them, speaking to them with kindness, with love, with a smile, even with affection. Pray to God to have the Holy Spirit move you in such a way that you're able to interact with him this, in this way. These folks who are agents of this program, since I have been loving on them in many, many ways, they have been kind back to me. They have been loving to me. They have done things as if they are trying to compensate for the targeting. When I used to get into arguments with them, they would target me and then they try to get me kicked out of my apartment. They would call the police on me. Some of them would want to have fist fights with me. I would make the situation not better by trying to fight fire with fire. But when I loved on them, some of the things that they did for me really touched my heart. I've had them take me places, pick up things for me, try to be loving to me in return, even though they still have to participate in this program. So it's not me who's loving them. It is the Lord. Go to the Lord and ask the Lord to empower you through the Holy Spirit of God to love on them to be kind to them, to talk to them with love and with even with affection. Affection meaning a genuine smile, an emotion that says, I like, I love you, and I will be kind to you. When they hit me with V2K and V2K and V2K and slur after slur after slur, the only thing I ever say is, I love you, and God loves you more since we know they're monitoring monitoring us. That has changed the nature of how they do the V2K. Okay, it's caused it to be less often and oftentimes less frequent. Like, subscribe, share a comment, any combination thereof. God bless.